Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a review of the Model 1's Temperature Changing Polygel Kit, and I will be showing how I created this beautiful and natural looking manicure using polygel, so let's get right into the video. So here is the kit that I received in the mail. It has beautiful packaging on the outside and there is more information on the back of what comes inside. And then once I opened it up, you can see all of the products. So there is a set of dual forms and these are used to sculpt the nail. There are six different colors of poly gel, a base and top gel, a slip solution, some glitters, and then a brush and file. So first I thought I would start off by showing you guys the dual forms and as you can see here they come in quite a few different sizes and as you can see on this dual form the curve is pretty strong so that is something to note with this kit. And like I said before there are six different colors of poly gel ranging from number 001 all the way to 006. So shade 001 is pure white and this is a solid white cream poly gel. Next is 002 soft pink and this is an opaque light pink color. Here is 003 light pink and this is a light pink translucent poly gel. Here is 004 light apricot and this is a translucent peachy pink color. Here is 005 nude and this is an opaque nude color. And then lastly there is 006 temperature change color and this is the temperature changing poly gel. So it goes from this pinky purple to a clear. So I went ahead and put some of the poly gel on a little plastic sheet so you could see the color. This is before curing and then here's after curing so you can see the temperature change color changes to a clear shade. And for my manicure today I decided to go in with 004 light apricot which is my favorite and I'm also going to be using the brush and picker tool. So one side has a metal spatula for scraping the poly gel, and then the other side has a brush to pat the poly gel in place. I'm also going to be using the 100-180 nail file and the poly gel nail slip solution. And the kit also came with glitters, but I won't be featuring them in this tutorial. And before I started my manicure, I read through all of the instructions, and now I'm going to be going in with a cuticle pusher and gently pushing back my cuticles. And this will get up all of that dead skin stuck on the nail plate, which could interfere with the adhesion of the poly gel. And I just want to mention, please excuse my cuticles and dry skin around my nails. They are looking a little bit rough, and that is because I've been doing multiple manicures and nail videos for my channel, so they are a little bit dry and not looking the best, so don't mind that. And like I said, I'm just going to finish up gently pushing back my cuticles, and then once I've completed doing that, I'm going to go in with my Olive in June nail buffer, and I'm just going to roughen up the surface of the nail and take off the surface shine. Now you don't want to take off layers of your natural nail doing this, you're just roughening up the first layer of the natural nail and taking away the shine. And then after that I'm going to size the dual forms to my nail. So I'm selecting dual forms that I think will fit perfectly on my nails and making sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall with a little gap in between for the poly gel to sit. So here you can see that I am fitting this dual form to my nail and the cuticle area goes a little bit more square than my natural nail. So I'm going to need to fix this so that the product doesn't spill all over the cuticle area. And all I do is file the sides in slightly and this will make it fit perfectly to my cuticles. And here are all of the dual forms I selected for my nails. And now I'm going to start with the application. So with the Model 1's gel base coat, I'm going to apply a thin even layer to my natural nails. And I'm going to do this so that the poly gel has something to stick onto. Now you want to apply this base coat onto your clean natural nails, so I recommend either cleansing them with alcohol or applying a dehydrator before this step. And after I have a nice even application of the gel, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to pour some of that slip solution into a dampen dish. So now I'm going to squeeze some of that poly gel into my dual form and I'm taking the brush, dipping it into the liquid and then patting and moving the product into place exactly where I want. And I'm going to press onto the nail from the cuticle to the tip, trying to prevent air bubbles. Then I flipped over the nail, smoothed out the underside and cured. And then I'm popping off the dual form to reveal a beautiful nail. Now I am going to show this process one more time just so you can get a better look. So again, I squeeze some of the poly gel into my dual form and you don't need a lot for the length that I created. I didn't go super long so I don't need a ton of product. 
and I just press that in place making sure it fits from the sidewall of one side to the other side to make sure that I don't have any gaps in the nail and I'm also just smoothing it out as best I can so that the application is nice and neat. And then after I'm happy with the application in the dual form, I'm starting at the cuticle area and pressing down towards the tip to get away any air bubbles. And I took some more of the slip solution and the brush and I'm going to smooth out the underside of the nail to make it flush with my natural nail as well as to have a nice smooth surface. And then I cured for 30 seconds in my LED lamp and I'm going to pop off the dual form again to reveal a nice and smooth beautiful nail. So here are all of the nails after I have formed them with the dual forms, and obviously you can see the shape isn't perfect, but the structure of the nail is absolutely beautiful. And for my filing, I'm going to be using my McCart e-file with this safety bit, and first I'm going to start by taking off any extra length, and I made these nails a little bit longer than I expected to keep them, just to make sure that I had enough product where it was needed, so I didn't have to go back and add any, because you can always take product away, it is a little bit harder to go in and add more. And then on the surface, I'm going to just smooth out any little pieces. Now with the dual form application, you don't really have any ridges or bumps on the nail. However, I like to go in and file the surface just to take down a little bit of thickness and custom them to my liking. Now you don't really have to go in with this step, I just prefer to do it and it also helps the gel top coat to adhere. So you can do this however you prefer and shape the nails really to your personal preference. And then after going over the top of the nail, I'm going to take my hand file that came in the kit and I'm going to shape the nails to the shape I'm going for and this nail I went for a tapered square. And after all of my filing, I'm going to go in with the Model Ones Gel Top Coat and this will add a beautiful and shiny finish to all of the nails. And I applied a thin even coat of this to all of the nails, capping the free edge and then once I'm happy with the application, I'm going to cure for 30 seconds in my LED lamp. And you can see here that this color I chose is a little bit translucent, which I think gives the nails a really nice and natural finish and I think this color is absolutely gorgeous. So after curing my gel top coat, here is my finished manicure using the Model Ones Temperature Changing Poly Gel Kit. I think this poly gel is really comparable to the McCart poly gel, which I really really liked. So this kit was super easy to use for me, and it came with everything that I needed in order to create this beautiful and natural manicure. So if you guys are interested in this kit, I will leave the link below along with a discount code so you can save some money. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.